Before setting off downriver, we get a few words of advice. We begin our journey through Upper Bavaria on the Isar River, not far from the border with Austria. We'll be kayaking 12 kilometers along the river to the resort town of Lengris. To be on the safe side, we're wearing helmets, life jackets, and wetsuits. Even in summer, the alpine water is barely 10 degrees Celsius. The landscape along the riverbank is scenic and unspoiled. Sun worshippers and nature lovers flock to its pebbly shores. But now it's time to leave one of Europe's most beautiful alpine river landscapes and we'll be doing it in dramatic style. To be precise, by tandem paragliding off the Brauneck mountain. Speed is of the essence. Doing this takes some guts, as well as faith in the wind, and of course in the experienced paraglider close by. It's comforting to know that here in Upper Bavaria, paragliding is part of the regular school curriculum. It's definitely a learning experience, and also a unique and enriching one. After 15 minutes in the air and 900 meters above ground, we're ready to commence landing. Once again, it involves a lot of running. It's only when we're back on the ground that we realize drifting through the air is hard work. Our next port of call is Bad Tölz. Iodine springs were once discovered here in the mid-19th century, and the town went on to become a popular spa. These days, it also attracts holidaymakers keen to work up a bit of sweat. The cable car just outside of town takes visitors up to the Blonberg Mountain in a matter of minutes. It's a great place to go for anyone who enjoys hiking and spectacular views. At an altitude of 1,200 meters, the Blomberg House has been a tourist attraction for more than a century. Nearby is a climbing park with nine different courses of varying difficulty. The highest is 15 meters above the forest floor. We return to the Isar River. It's been an important trade route for hundreds of years. In the 19th century, up to 8,000 barges wound their way to Munich along the Isar each year. Some of them came to grief in the rapids at the Georgenstein Rock. Today, tourists like to go rafting from Wollratshausen to Munich and make a day of it. Word has it that rafting was first introduced on the Isar River by American GIs in the 1950s. Raft trips for tourists were introduced in the 1970s and run from May to September. Adventurous types might want to try extreme rafting on routes that include barrages for that extra challenge. The longest route is 365 meters and begins in Strasbach, a few kilometers from Munich. Here the rafts will be dismantled and transported back to the starting point, because tomorrow 
the fun begins all over again.